You know, last month I did a funeral for a woman whom I had never met. She had never even come to Racine Bible Church. What happened was she was a resident at Ridgewood, I think for almost 10 years. And you know, some of our men have run a worship service and a, a gospel hymn sing and worship service at Ridgewood for many years now. I think that uh, Dean Duda helped out with it, Joe Salazar helped out with it, and uh, he's with Jesus now. And I think Dave Courtney and his sons, David and Saul, helped out with it. And that's true ministry, you know, like James 1 27 says, reaching out to widows and those who are lonely. So anyway, the, the story that I got back was that uh, this woman passed away and her husband, even though her husband had never been to our service at Ridgewood because he didn't stay there, he still lives here in town, but he knew that she loved going to that service once a month. She just loved it. And so when she passed away, he went to the people at the front desk at Ridgewood and said, I never been to church. My wife never been to church. We're not religious, but I know she loved going to that service. If the, is that connected to a church where there's some kind of a minister who could help us with a funeral? So lo and behold, they called me, and I said, "Well, I would be I would be honored to do your wife's service." And so I was able to go, and there were maybe 16 people at the funeral. It wasn't a large funeral. But I was able to preach from John 3.16, the message of the gospel, to those 16 people. And from the response I got from them, I, a lot of them, I don't think they knew the gospel. I don't think someone had just simply taken the time to share the gospel with them. What a, what a wonderful opportunity. And then one more little PS to it. In the funeral home, I was working with a funeral director whom I had never met. I finished the service and then he comes up and you know how at the end the funeral director says this concludes the service or whatever. So he said that and then he said, can I just say one thing? And he looked over at me and he said, Pastor Spencer was too polite to give you a commercial to come to his church, he says, but I will. And I'm looking at this guy like, I, I never even worked with this guy before. But he says to the people that are gathered, he says, I go into a lot of churches to do a lot of funerals. And can I just tell you, when I've been into Racine Bible Church, the people there were so nice to me. He said the guy that unlocked the front door, he mentioned the lady in the office who helped him with the photocopies. He mentioned the people that set up the tables to put the pictures on. He, and he just said to the crowd real quick, he said, if you want to go to a church where people live out the love that they talk about, Racine Bible Church is a church like that. And I just smiled thinking of all of you knowing that that's the way you live. And there's a I get to use my gift of preaching, but it's all of us equally demonstrating that with our lives uh, that makes us the church that Jesus is calling us to be.